Hi, my name's Robert Ray with MP3 Car. We're here at CES 2010, and I'm here with Gary Briggs. <laughs> and Gary's done some amazing work. Now, wait. The, Gary. Uh, Gary. Yeah. Yes. Now, your, your forum name on MP3 Car is Chunky, Chunky Case. Case. Now, what, where does uh, that come from? That's actually short for Chunky Kibbles, of all things. Uh, it was in the. It was just a phrase I saw in the Quake manual back when Quake was new in 1997 or whatever it was. Yeah. And the name stuck. I just thought it was a fantastic name. So why are you here at stuck. CES? Um, I'm actually here at CES because uh, there was a, 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 a community website for the plug computer. One of these guys uh, called, uh, and, they, and they had a competition for submit your killer app to, um, to, the, to their community website, which I did. And uh, surprisingly enough, I actually won. And thus, uh, they flew me, well, they didn't fly me out. I drove out to CES 2010, is it? Anyway, and uh, to show off my stuff at their, at their booth. So what is your stuff? So my stuff is, basically, I have, um, I, got a, I got myself this fabulous new car a year ago. And I went looking for Linux and OS X and, and right. cross-platform software that logged OBD2 and GPS data. Because I got a new car, and for the first time, I could plug a computer into it, and that's just too tempting for words right. for me. So I so I wrote some software that logs my OBD2 data, and uh, it logs my OBD2 parameters and stuff while I'm driving, as well as my GPS position. When I get to wherever I'm going, I can plot it out. Uh, I have um, it plots it out in Google Earth, okay, and shows. Uh, like the, the default graph in Google Earth shows where you were, obviously, mm -hmm. and how high the graph is is how fast you were going, and okay. it colors it based on your engine efficiency. Ah, okay. And then I have some other stuff that I'm working on with it. You know, I'm trying to work out what gear you're in. Which okay. turns out to be not quite as simple as you'd imagine it is. Okay. And I, I, I have lots of analytics that I'm, I'm teaching myself some statistical languages just to, <laughs> just to make it happen. My data. So the short version of what happens is, uh, well, with a plug at least, you I just plug in my OBD2 device. Okay. And um, with my, what I, I really love this because it actually worked out. Okay. So I have these two. Uh huh. And uh, I plug that guy in. Right. And it just starts logging the data. And does blinking lights? And we can almost see it. Uh, and it logs the data to the SD card. Okay. So with absolutely no interaction, this thing, the the plug here, can actually just sit in my car and uh -huh. magically log data whenever I'm driving. And okay. then when I get uh, whenever I, when I get wherever I'm going, I can just take the SD card out, shove it in my shove it in my laptop, and and look at the graphs. And, okay. And look at some statistics. Um, so now, can we plug? We could plug a hub into that too, and plug in yeah, more devices, absolutely. right? So, so you, there's one USB port on the default yeah. plug. Um, this is one manufactured by Global Scale. Okay. Uh, it has a, a SD, uh, has a, a USB card, um, a gigabit Ethernet slot, and then it has an SD slot and a, and a mini USB. Okay. Um, that's the one manufactured by Global Scale. It's huge. Um, these guys uses five watts, by the this way. Sucks five watts. Um, if you replace the power supply with a 12 to 5 volt inverter instead, I'm told it sucks a little bit less. Um, it's actually trivial to work on to work in your car. If you if you take two screws out wherever they are and crack it open, well, I'll just open it. Um, you've literally got a computer in your left hand and a power supply on your right, and you can just chip replace it. Two two forum users have already done this. Uh, it's worth noting that I was helping someone get get this thing working, and MP3 Car actually sent me this because uh, they're real nice. I know. Anyway, so this is one manufactured by Global Scale. This is the one manufactured by uh, Ionix. They're called, and it's sort of tiny compared to. You can see how big it is on the. Yeah, it's it's minuscule. Okay. And it's actually the same hardware inside of it as this one. It's just smaller. Um, this one though doesn't have the SD slot on the side like this, but in the same box as this that uh, comes with, you know, this, they're both 100 bucks. And in the same box as this one comes, you get this guy, which is an external SD card and mini USB adapter, and it just slips on, slots on, and there you go. Um, 
but this this actually has internal storage. They both have internal storage. So if you don't want the SD card, for example, I could log directly to the internal storage on this, and then when I get home, just plug it into the Ethernet and, and copy the files off it. Right. Or you know, if I put a USB hub on there, I could use a USB USB storage key thing. Storage key, your, G, thumb, your thumb, G, thumb. GPS for data logging. Yeah. Uh, now, what about like if you wanted to have a GSM thing? Could you make it so that uh, um, you could the the, uh, the new plug, which is being manufactured by Ionix as well. It's the version 3, and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Okay. I actually have... Um, my my, my oh, software is open cool. source. My yep. software is open source. So um, there's actually a student in Brazil who is, among others, who has actually thought, <laughs> thought that was a good idea. And he is... Um, I don't know the state of his project right now, but he is actually using 3G to and Bluetooth to connect the plug to his phone and then dynamically upload the data. Okay. And I, and I wrote about We'll put stuff. a link to that in the forums mm -hmm. when we go to post this video. Yeah, I, if there is a link. I don't know if he has one yet. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there, and, and there are other people on, on the forums. Uh, OS Dash, I think, is some new project yeah. in there where they're talking about a permanent web service. This is fantastic for that. And so the theory behind that is you could that. just pull into your parking, pull into your drive, your carport, and it would automatically. And your data's already there. It it's, goes up over mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi now. Yeah. You, so you mentioned Bluetooth. Uh, you could also tether to your phone, tether so your it's phone. live sending. And that's that what program. he's actually doing. He's actually okay. tethering uh, to his phone, and dynamically, because the log files are stored in an actual database on the card, and you and and what he's doing is dumping that data, and uploading it via his phone regularly, uh, automatically. So all the benefits of, of the logging that I'm doing, but without needing to wait till you get to where you're going to, to enjoy it. Thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to show us your car. And, thank, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate the demo. Yeah. And thanks for watching our blog.